A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 10 verses 24 to 33. Passage taken from the message version of the Bible. A student doesn't get a better desk than her teacher. A laborer doesn't make more money than his boss. Be content, pleased, even when you, my students, my harvest hands, get the same treatment I get. If they call me the master, dung face, what can the worker expect? Don't be intimidated. Eventually everything is going to be out in the open and everyone will know how things really are. So don't hesitate to go public now. Don't be bluffed into silence by the threats of bullies. There is nothing they can do to your soul, your core being. Save your fear for God who holds your entire life, body and soul in his hands. What is the price of a pet canary some loose change right and god cares what happens to it even more than you do he pays even greater attention to you down to the last detail even numbering the hairs on your head so don't be intimidated by all this bully talk you are worth more than a million canaries stand up for me against the world opinion and i will stand up for you before my father in heaven if you turn tail and run do you think i will cover for you the gospel of the lord reflections on the gospel according to matthew chapter 10 verses 24 to 33 fear has some positive vital function it signals the dangers and prevents us from taking risky and foolish actions what keeps us safe from possible dangers and unpleasant situations in life is our fear but in the gospel jesus teaches us on the contrary he repeats do not be afraid for a believer of christ Fear is not an option. Fear hinders the courageous actions and resolute choices. For those who have made the decision to follow Jesus, fear is the worst enemy. It could be the fear of punishment, fear of failures in life, fear of losing friendships, of being deprived of one's properties, fear of death or of being killed. and the list goes on forever it is normal to be afraid but whoever is afraid is no longer free and if dominated and guided by fear we end up paralyzed matthew as he writes the gospel is addressing his community in antioch where many of the faithful are afraid because of the violence unleashed by the enemies of christ They fear that the mission of Christ might fail. That's why he gives the reassurance, what I tell you in the darkness, tell it in the broad daylight. And what you hear in private, proclaim from the housetops. Matthew is announcing the reassurance of the Lord that despite the trials and hardships, the gospel will spread and transform the world. They probably will not see the seeds of light and goodness that they have sown with toil and pain germinate. However, a believer of Christ must cultivate the joyful certainty that the harvest will grow and will be plentiful. Their work will not be in vain. No enemy force will be capable to prevent the realization of God's plan. The second reason for the fear is the fear of being mistreated or even put to death. What harm can the enemies of the gospel do? To offend, accuse unjustly, beat, confiscate property, take away life? But physical death would not be the ultimate evil. No violence is capable of depriving the disciple of the only lasting treasure. 
the life he has received from God and that no one can take away. The third reason why persecution frightens us is that often times it does affect not only us but also those around us. Jesus responds by pointing out the providence of the heavenly Father. No one is left outside of the love and kindness of God. We will always be rescued in a prodigious way not because of any of our merits but because our heavenly father cannot but care for his children 